Good morning, Red Hawk Nation. Today is Wednesday, March 21st, and I'm Neha Paramala with another daily update brought to you by Wingspan TV. She's one of the youngest on the team, but freshman Ali White is one of the leading players on the girls' soccer team. WTV's Maddie D'Addario has a story. One of five freshmen on this year's varsity team, White didn't waste any time making an impact. Putting goal after goal in the net, White leads the team with eight goals. Uh, coming on to varsity as a freshman, it was uh, the girls were really welcoming. It was really fun coming on, and just the speed of play was really fast, and I really enjoyed it, and it was a lot of fun. Although White's transition on varsity has been as smooth as possible, she still does feel the added pressure with being so young and playing at the varsity level of soccer. There was a little bit of pressure just because I'm like coming up as a freshman and being so young. I think like I had to step up and I had to show my role on the team. Girls head soccer coach Elizabeth Mokler quickly recognized White's leadership in the offense. Allie White came to us as a freshman and from day one already knew that we were going to see great things from her. She came in with an incredible work ethic and tenacity, which is so much fun to watch. She brings such an energy onto the field and she works so hard, whether it's in practice, whether it's in a game, no matter how small or how big it is, she's always giving her best effort. She's encouraging, she's positive. Um, so she's been our leading goal scorer in district, has scored all seven goals. Um, obviously that comes up from the defense being able to support her. We've worked really well together, together as a team and she does a great job kind of leading the pack in terms of offense. She works really well with everybody and she goes to goal and she is gonna do great things for us the rest of the year. Um, and I see her being a leader and getting better and better every year and maintaining that kind of leadership role, not just because she can score goals, but because she just has an incredibly high work ethic and inspires, I think, the whole team. Getting most of the glory for scoring the majority of the team's goals, White is quick to give her teammates credit. Um, being the leading goal scorer, I really couldn't do without the rest of my team. Like, being a forward, that's kind of my job in scoring. Um, I, I enjoy it, but also, like, my team, I couldn't get the ball without building up from the defense in the midfield. It wouldn't be possible without them, too. Reporting for WTV, I'm Maddie D'Addario. Baseball played Centennial last night. Here's today's Sports Minute. Softball and baseball were in action last night. The softball team traveled to Heritage to face the Coyotes. On the offensive end, Laurel Glass recorded three RBIs and Megan Berkelball went three for four. On the defensive side, Haley Berkelbrough stuck out two of the last three batters. Sydney Caffarella secured seven outs, and Erica Schlegel secured the third out in the bottom of the sixth as the girls took home the 6-5 to five win, improving the record to 5-3. to three. They take on Frisco next at home on Friday at 7 p.m. Meanwhile, the baseball team hosted Centennial. Junior Mitchell Miller and senior Dylan Strader each recorded an RBI on the offensive end, but it wasn't enough as the Titans took over the game 13-2. to two. The two teams meet up again at Centennial on Friday at 7.30 p.m. For Wingspan TV, I'm Saria Ravichandran. If you're looking for more from Wingspan, you can follow us at Liberty Wingspan on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and visit our award-winning website, libertywingspan.com. Please stay tuned for today's announcements. Girls soccer plays Heritage tomorrow at 7 at Heritage. Boys soccer plays Heritage tomorrow at 7.30 at home. Baseball plays Centennial at Centennial Friday at 7.30. Softball plays Frisco at home Friday at 7. Track and field compete in the Flower Mound Invitational at Flower Mound on Saturday. Tennis tryouts are March 27th at 4.15 at the tennis courts. UNICEF will be hosting a book drive until March 29th. All books will be donated to Dallas ISD and Better World Books. Drop books off in the rotunda. That's it for today's daily update. This has been Neha Paramala for Wingspan TV.